Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes came upon me, the eat of my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though a host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, in this will I be confident. One thing have I desired of the Lord that I will seek after that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. Let us worship them in spirit and in truth this morning.
he might be will set your God. Speak ye confidently to Jerusalem and cry unto her that her warfare is accomplished, that her iniquity is pardoned, for she hath received of the Lord's hand double from all her sins. The voice of them that cry in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord, make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be exalted, and every mountain and hill shall be made low, and the crooked shall be made straight, and the rough places plain, and the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see it together, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. May God have a blessing to the reading and the hearing of the Holy Word.
He took Peter and John and James and went up into a mountain to pray. And as he prayed, the fashion of his countenance was altered, and his raiment was white and glistening. And behold, there talked with him two men, which were Moses and Elijah, who appeared in glory and spake of his decease, that means his death, which he should accomplish at Jerusalem. But Peter and they that were with him were heavy with sleep. And when they were awake, they saw his glory. And the two men that stood with him came to pass. As they departed from him, Peter said unto Jesus, Master, it is good for us to be here. Let us make three tabernacles, one for thee and one for Moses and one for Elijah, not knowing what he said. While he thus spake, there came a cloud and overshadowed them, and they feared as they entered into the cloud. And there came a voice out of the cloud saying, This is my beloved son. Hear him. And when the voice was passed, Jesus was found alone. And they kept it close and told no man in those days any of those things which they had seen. They got a blessing to the reading and the hearing of his holy word. I want to share a few words this morning on this subject. Stuck on the mountain. Stuck on the mountain. The writer Matthew, excuse me, Luke tells us that after eight days that uh, 
Jesus took James and Peter and John with him up into a high mountain to pray. Now, the eighth day is symbolic of Sunday. So there's a pointing to the resurrection in this glorious experience. And that when they got to the top of the mountain, which they were led up by Jesus, you can't go up without him leading. Sometimes we try to go up <laughs> Without the Lord. Anyway, he led them up there. And then his, his whole countenance changed. Yes. And his garments were white and glistening like snow. That is a reference, my brothers and sisters, to the garments of martyrs. Now, if you want to go up the mountain, you might not like what that leads to. Right. Have I got a witness? Yeah. It, it is, and they were, Moses and Elijah were standing next to him and talking to him about his death. In his glory, they're speaking to him about his decease. Wow. Have I got a witness? Amen. You have to pay attention to the word of God. Yeah. Yes. He was showing his glory. But his glory pointed to his death on the cross. Oh yeah. Moses representing the law. And Elijah the prophets. The law points to Jesus and his death. Ah, Elijah and the prophets point to Jesus. And his death and resurrection. Oh yes they do. And when you look back. At the, the Old Testament. It all points. In his direction. Oh yes it does. They were. Having a conversation. With the Lord. Let me throw a little something in here. Because there are those in some denominations. A couple of them. That say that once you die. There is no soul that goes back to be with the Lord until he returns. You're just dead until the final resurrection. Well, it says here that Moses was next to Jesus and Moses had died. Amen. You have to know this stuff now. Don't let folks fool you. I'm glad that Paul said to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. Amen. So when I die, I'm going somewhere. I'm not just going to be dead. Amen. And they had this conversation with Jesus. And then Peter and John and James woke up and saw the glory. And then when just when uh, Moses and Elijah were beginning to leave, Peter said, Lord, it's good to be up here on this mountain. Let's build three tents, three tabernacles. One for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. That's really our problem. We want to put the Lord and the Old Testament in a tabernacle. We want to put God in a, in a shelter that we construct. Help me, Lord Jesus. My beloved Catholic brothers and sisters, have a tabernacle on the altar, golden tabernacle, and they put the communion bread in the tabernacle. I got news for you. You can't lock Jesus up. Amen. 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 He won't fit in your tabernacle that you construct. He's way above us. That's good. Oh, yeah. He was stuck on the mountain. Even though the vision was, he got scared when the vision was about to leave. He wanted to try to catch it. <laughs> Some of us get stuck on mountaintops. <laughs> we used to get high on other stuff. Now we want to stay high on Jesus. <laughs> you need to come off the mountain. When the Lord comes off the mountain, it's time for you to go off the mountain. 
Oh, yes, it is. The same Jesus that led them up the mountain, led them back down into the valley. I don't have a God just of the hills in life. I have a God of the valleys. He's with me. When things are up, he's with me. When stuff is down, he's with me. Woo! Get off that mountain. This is not a gospel of thrill. Amen. B.B. King said the thrill is gone. That's right. Thrills come and go. But joy comes from within. It doesn't come and go with life circumstances. I can't grieve in the valley, but I still got joy. Still have peace. Even in the valley. Because the same one who led me up the mountain top led me into the valley. Yes, sir. He's yet with me. Amen. Through thick and thin, he's with me. Amen. Through storm and rain, he's with me, y'all. Yes, when the sun is shining, he's with me. Yes, sir. <sighs> Peter was a thrill seeker. And when we first come to the Lord, we get disappointed when we, when we feel a little dry. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. We don't see the same glory we saw some other time. But listen, he's not going to stay up on the mountain with you. Just as long as you know that he's with you, that's what matters. <sighs> you can't stay. In recovery from drugs, alcohol, illicit sex, or anything else, if you are a thrill seeker, Amen. <laughs> you've got to be able to feel. You can't feel joy and you can't feel happiness unless you feel pain. Amen. And if I want to be behind the Lord, I got to feel the kind of stuff that Sherry was saying about this morning. They knew that life is bluesy. It's bitter and it's sweet. Yeah. The old folks did. Yeah. Oh yeah. Life is not all happy hunky dory. There's a bitterness to it. Yeah. But it's a good bitterness. You gotta feel some pain in order to feel some joy. Yeah. Get off the mountain. Yeah. I can praise him even when I'm hurt. Oh, yes, I can. In fact, I can tell him about my hurts. Yeah. I don't just tell him uh, high praise. I tell him when I'm hurting. Because yeah. I know he knows how I feel. The Lord knows that people can abandon you. The Lord knows abuse. He knows mountaintops. And he knows valleys. Walk with Jesus. Walk with him. He'll keep you when no nothing else could keep you. Am I right about it? Yeah. Don't be stuck on the mountain of transfiguration. Come on down here in the valley when you're through the mountaintop. Church feels good. It's a great experience to come in here and sing and shout on Sunday morning. But something else is waiting for me at the door. That's all right. Jesus is still with me. Amen. I don't leave him at the church house. Yes, sir. He's with me. Amen. Oh, glory to his name. He's with me. Yes, and he's with you. Yes, yes, oh, yes, he is. Ah, uh, I'm glad that old Peter was a mess. Because I know I am. Amen. Have I got a witness? The, the gospel writer said, Mark said it even more emphatically. Peter said, let's stay up here. And Peter, he said, because Peter didn't know what he was talking about. <laughs> he was putting in a little, he was digging, digging at Peter. Making fun of him. He just had to say, you know, if you know anybody got to say something? <laughs> even when they don't know what they're talking about? <laughs> We don't, we've all been guilty of that every now and then. Well, yes, we have. He didn't know what he was talking about. He wanted to stay up on the mountain. Let's get you and Moses and everybody, let's stand up here with y'all. 
Let me tell you something. It's good to be chosen to be an insider. If you're real enough, you're one of the ones he's going to take way up on the mountain. Even though he's going to take you back to the valley. If you're an insider who's willing to go through with Jesus to, to look forward to his death. If you're an insider who knows that you yourself will suffer. That you can witness to him on the cross of your own life. You will see the mountaintop. But you'll also see him in the valley. Oh, yes, you will. Be an insider. Jesus told the fellas when he's getting ready to go home in John's gospel. Now I'm not calling you servants anymore. I'm calling you my friends. Are you a friend of Jesus? Or are you just a pretender? The glad of saying that. Yeah. Oh, yes, I'm a great pretender. <laughs> <laughs> Are you just pretending with him? Or do you really love the Lord? <laughs> if you love him, you'll be there at the cross. Just like you will at the resurrection. Glory to his name. Don't stay stuck in high places. Have I got a witness? Because, as it said in the, in the, in the book of 1 Kings chapter 20, God is a God of hills and of valleys. Oh, yes, he is. I'm so glad this morning that he walks with me, talks with me, tells me that I'm his own. Through all the trouble of my life, Jesus is with me. Yes, he is. I don't mind suffering a little bit, even though it hurts, because it makes me more like him. I can feel your wounds because I got some of my own. How do you worship a Jesus who, who was crucified without being crucified yourself? Have I got a witness? Oh, glory to his name. They put him in a tomb all night Friday night. Oh, all night, Saturday night, over the early, early Sunday morning. Jesus got up. Glory to his name. Yes, he did. He's my, my great liberator. The world can't give it, and the world can't take it away. Circumstances can't take it away. People can't take it away. Even sickness can't take it away. I've got joy, 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 joy in my soul. Hallelujah. Don't be stuck. Jesus goes. Yes. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. It's late in the evening. Is there somebody? 
everybody that goes and has to walk wear black. Mm -hmm. Okay. What time will it be? 12 noon. At 12 this, uh, uh, Basketball stadium. Uh, at Tucson High? Tucson High. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. <laughs> What, what time? 20 minutes? Well, 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 on Saturday, Saturday, yeah. We all turn around at 10. Yes. 
sit down. Yeah. Yeah,